What's going on everyone? My name is VK. Welcome back to another exciting little video review here. Today we have on the table a nifty little light over from the guys over at Bowling. Um, the guys over at Bowling did send out this little light to me for, for review. And fun little story, actually, um, uh, three weeks prior for them ever contacting me about this light, I did actually purchase one of these lights myself. And then they contacted me after that, so it felt pretty natural to do a review of a light I genuinely wanted to own. And I actually owned for a couple weeks, and now I have been using for the past months the both of the lights, so I have a little thoughts. But before we jump into that, this light is really nice for its price, it packs a lot of features. But basically, this is a LED panel, which is RGB, among other things. So this is basically the box, we have the bowling... Uh, P1 vlogger. I will have all the links regarding this product in the description down below. So opening up the box, pretty it's a super simple setup. We have the light, the P1 vlogger light um, itself, um, which is this little nifty little LED panel here. And pretty much the all other things we get is some documentation and a nifty little USB-C cable uh, regarding this USB-C cable in just a moment. Again, put these aside here um all right so this is the light itself this is the blow uh the boeing p1 the vlogger uh, light and uh, this light is really special to me for a couple of reasons uh this has mainly three features i like uh comparing this light to pretty much anything else out there um for the first is the build quality i love this it's made out of metal it's uh, completely aluminium all the way through i'm really used to having these kind of lights are usually made of plastic or something of the sort so having a light which is made out of metal is really nice i can actually take here since i have my my other one which this is the one i have been owning for uh maybe a month longer than this one so that's pretty cool i can leave it right here um, so that's the first thing. The first thing is it's a amazing of a build quality. The next thing is that it has a built-in battery. That is really cool. Uh, a lot of these kind of lights are using the Sony NPF ba style batteries. Nothing wrong with them, but having a rechargeable uh, like battery inside of a light makes it so much lighter um, and more compact. It's really, really nice. And a little bonus, it's actually using a USB Type-C connector here. Let's go ahead and talk about the light itself. What kind of light is this and what can it do? Um, basically, this is an LED panel. It's a bicolor LED panel ranging from 2500 Kelvin up to like 8500 Kelvin. So really warm to something really, really bluish or yeah, so to speak. And also... It's RGB. It's fully RGB. That's what makes this so nice to have in a bag. It's so versatile having something like this in your camera bag or lighting kit to have something this small. Um, but it's capable of bicolorization and full RGB. And we're going to be taking a look and demo on those real soon. Also, a little feature on this is this little aluminium bracket we can see here. This is actually the way how you can mount this to pretty much anything. Uh, it's a 360 degree solution in two different axes. So basically we have this little lever here that basically folds out. And then this is basically the one dimension of rotation, which is pretty cool. It's pretty stiff. I like that. And then we have 360 degrees in this axis. So you can mount this really creatively in different ways or put it on a tabletop by putting this leg a little bit like this and then you can just like rest it on the table, angle it and have it like shoot a, like a directional light in a way to, to one of the directions. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and turn it on here um, and well, so we'll turn it on here and then we have this little dimmer knob. So basically the overview of the light buttons and functions, we have the power switch uh, on and off. Then we have a set button that will basically change or change between modes on this light. And then we have the function, function this little jog wheel basically. And depending on which mode we can alter the effect. So for example, now when we are in uh, bi the bicolor mode, we can change the 5500 Kelvin here on this little display. It's nice to have this little OLED display here. It's actually, it's actually an LCD, it's not an OLED. But a little display showing you uh, the battery life, uh, what mode we are in, the dimming level, and then also now we are circling between different um, 
color temperatures. So here we have also this dimmer wheel. So I can start turning this on here. And we can see this nice little circular slider in a way, telling you how many percentage we are uh, moving or dimming this light. So now we are at 70% here. And this thing is bright, man. We put this to 100%. This is a bright light. I really like this. Um, it does maybe see because I have exposed with a pretty bright light here as my key light. So this is really bright to have. Uh, it's really nice. It's actually a little bit blindfolding to look in the eye. I actually have to put it something like 30% to be pretty much looking at it straight away. So that's basically we have it here. And then we can use the, the function jog wheel, you could say, to put it down to something like 2500 Kelvin. So something really warm. Or then we can go up to, let's say, the 80 8500 Kelvin, yeah, so it's a little bit of a bluish, bluish, lightish, that kind of bluish, lightish. Uh -huh. Then we have a battery indicator up, up here at the top of the screen, and yeah, so that is basically the buy color options here. And then when we put the set button, we can change the mode. So there's three different modes on this we have the buy color. Then we have RGB and then we have special effects. And that is one of my favorite features of this light, hands down. Having special effects and we're gonna go dive into what kind of special effects this have, but that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and trick the set button once and we go into RGB mode. And here we can see different uh, options here. So let's go ahead and dim this up a little bit here. Now we have red. Uh, red colorization here, so that's pretty cool. We can see that look nice red color if you want to use this as a hair light or something of the sorts That's really nice um, Then we can see here on the display we have hue and saturation And it's pretty handy that here on the table. We have this little like plastic or acrylic uh, Colorization bar telling you which hue values give what kind of color like you can see that hey I want this tealish color. It's something like I don't know how well you can see this, but basically we have values from 0 to 360. 0 and 360 is like pure red, a green is 120, and a blue is 240. So now we are when we are at the hue, we can use the jog wheel to now hold and circle through different colors. So here we are at 120. We have like a super hulkish bright green color here going on. And then we can basically have like one increment what like an accuracy of one of a single increments yeah single increments to find the perfect hue color if i want this nice tealish color we have that and then of course we can dim it up and then if we click on this function wheel we click on it we can jump into saturation mode and now we can basically apply how much saturation how strong the color is and basically if you go to zero saturation it will go to a white color it's not white it's pretty pinkish but basic that you can like up the saturation that if you don't want you want the uh like a specific hue of a color but you don't want it to be so strong you can tune down the saturation of the color so that's really nice to have a really nice cool option there then we have the last mode of it all and that is basically the special effects mode and i actually i pretty much have this program to when i click the set button we have the special effects happening here, and this is the police siren light um, preset here. And we have three different uh, effects here. What we have is I can put let's let's put this down to of a lower level, so we don't have so much blinding light happening here. So we have police lights, then we have lightning, and then we have the color like like color cycles basically. So now if I click the function button here, I can change. A diff uh, like a different uh, like uh, effect here and now we are at lighting so if you want this let's go and dim this up here have like this practical lighting effect here which is really nice to have as a little practical light on your film shoots getting this nice lighting effects so that's pretty cool and then if we go jump to the last one we have this color cycle uh, kind of effect here that we basically cycles through different colors and all that and then we go back to the police lights and from here we have different ones we have like slower and we have uh, a little bit different of colors and all this. So this is really nice to have this kind of these effects in hand. And I actually did use this on a little fi funny uh, shoot here. I can see, you will see on the screen now when I used actually the police lights as this little highlight detail uh, in the person's helmet, giving that really nice 
like practicality. So basically to conclude, this is one, it's an amazing light and I can definitely recommend to anyone searching for a light that basically you can just throw in a bag, it, it doesn't break and it looks amazing, has amazing um, color accuracy and light quality. Also, another little bonus feature of this, actually, when I just came up with it, is that um, usually on, on RGB lights, the RGB mode is in light intensity a lot l less uh, as strong. It's not as bright as the white equivalent LEDs. Uh, I was actually using this in my school with, a light, with an actual lighting meter, and this RGB is almost next to the exact same light meter rating as the white LEDs. So the white, the bicolor uh, like mode, the RGB is, is almost exactly as bright. So that's super nice that you're not missing a light intensity when you're using the RGB mode. So sometimes I really think how much they can put into a $130 package. That's amazing. For $130, you get an, a light made of aluminium, built-in battery, we use USB Type-C, RGB, bicolor, and special effects. These are just, I, I like, I want more of these. I, I want more of these lights. These are just amazing lights to have on your kit. And now I have two and I need more. Okay. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy this little basically overview chat time depending on, on this little light I have here hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this video Hit me a like and a comment if you if you did this video and hopefully I can see you guys in the next one So subscribe to your channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out